Hi guys, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I am going to talk about tokens we have in Java. So let's get started. So tokens are nothing but it is the smallest unit of program. In tokens, we have identifiers, we have keywords, we have literals, we have separators, we have comments and we have operators. Let's talk about each and every these six topics one by one. Let's get started to talk about what do you mean by identifier. So identifier is nothing but it is a name given to any program. You write any program, you will give every program will have a particular name. So name given to any program is called as identifier. It should start with a character. It cannot start with a special character. And it, whenever you are giving any identifier name, it cannot have a space in between. If you are writing any, if you are joining any two words to name it as an identifier, you should have an underscore in between. So identifier is nothing but it is a name given to any program. When I'm talking today, you guys might not understand completely but when I will be talking my, about my first program, when I will be talking about my first program, in that I will be teaching each and every token we have. So let's go ahead and talk about what do you mean by keywords. Now keywords are nothing but it is a predefined word which has its own meaning in Java. Example, when you write any, any program in Java, you write class, you write static, you write public static. I mean, those predefined words are called as keywords. Keyword is a predefined word and always remember while giving any name, when you are writing any class in Java, any name, that means identifier name cannot be keywords. Since keywords are already predefined, you cannot use those words to name a class name. Now let's talk about what do you mean by literals. Literals are nothing but it's a value used in the program. Now literals, now any value which you use in your program is called as literals. Suppose you are using string value, that string value that means if you are using software testing by MKT as a string value, so it will be a string literals. And always remember whenever you are using a string literals, it should be inside the double quotes. The next type of literals we have is called as character literals. When you are using any character, let's say when you are using a particular A letter, it should be enclosed inside a single code. So any character which you use in Java should be enclosed inside a single code is called as character literals. We have more types of literals which is called as numeric literals. Any numeric word you use from 0 to 9, let's say you are using A equals to what 10,000 that is called as numeric literals and we have fourth type of literals which is called as boolean literals boolean literals are nothing but true or false so if you use in your program this true or false it will come under literals which is called as boolean literals let's move ahead to talk about what do you mean by separators now separators are nothing but it is used to separate the code in the program so separators are different types under separators we have multiple types we have braces we have semicolon we have colon we have bracket we have parenthesis these all are comes under your separators let's move ahead to talk about what do you mean by comments so under comments so comments are nothing but it is used to give an additional information while writing a program when you are writing a thousand code of line sometime after writing a particular logic in front of it you write the comment the reason you write comment is because tomorrow if some engineer is coming in place of me he should be under he should be able to understand what is the logic i have written for that sake while writing a particular logic you write the comment in front of it to make people understand what exactly you are trying to do. So in comments we have two types that is single line comments and block of comments. Single line comments is used to comment a single line means you have written a single line code and in front of it you are writing the comment. How are you writing it? By putting a double forward slash and then you are entering your whatever you want to write. 
and we have another type of comment which is called as block of comments so block of comment is used to write something within, within the few number of lines of quotes so it always comes under forward slash asterisk you write whatever you want to write and then it ends with asterisk symbol and then forward slash within the forward slash asterisk and ending with asterisk and forward slash whatever you write inside that will comes under your block of comments now the next type of token we have in java is called as operators so operators are nothing but these are the symbol which is used to operate on the operands if you write 6 plus 2 your plus symbol is called as operators your 6 plus 2 your 6 and 2 are called as operands so under operators we have different types we have arithmetic operators we have assignment operators we have bitwise operators we have conditional operators we have logical operators and we have relational operators all these operators comes under your operators token so this is all about token i hope this video was useful to you guys if yes please give a thumbs up to this video subscribe to my channel software testing by mkt and please share this video with your needy friends if you have any doubt list out all your doubt in the comment section i will be answering if you think anything which you have not understood i am giving a promise that when i will be making my next video when i will be making my first video of first program in java that time i will be talking about each and every token in depth till then stay tuned